Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about a server term or a waiter slash waitress term that we have here in America. It is called a tip out. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what is a tip out and why I think it is a terrible system that needs to be just completely removed. Alrighty, so um, I don't know how it works around the world, but I know because, um, you know, servers and waiters and waitresses, it's all different around the world. But in America, this is how it works, unfortunately, for many restaurants. Um, my experience is I worked for about five years at different restaurants. Uh, what's it called? I've ranged from f like, um, what do you call it? Uh, breakfast places to like high end places, you know, very expensive places where, you know, an entree is like 80 something dollars. And I've also worked in the middle where, you know, entrees are about 20, 20, 25, kind of like Olive Garden type, Red Lobster, uh, Outback Steakhouse, those type of restaurants, right? And um, all these places, unfortunately, have a tip out. So let's talk about what is a tip out, right? So I got a little board right here. I'm going to write it out for you. So a tip out uh, is a percent of the total revenue that you have, uh, what's it called, given to a restaurant or, uh, you know, yeah, pretty much given to a restaurant as a server. So whatever you sell, let's say you have 10 tables, each table uh, had $100 worth of food, your total would be a thousand um your total revenue for the restaurant would be a thousand, right? And a percentage of that you have to give back to the restaurant so they can pretty much pay the other people you work with. That tip out is based on who's working that day. Let's say if you guys are fully stocked up, let's say you have a bus boy, the person who cleans the tables, you have a food runner, the person who runs the food, and you have a bartender. All those will take a percentage out, what's it called? And percentage out of the total revenue that you have to pay out of the tips that you earned and you have to give it to them Now so what's it called? Here's a tip out percent of total revenue and uh, given to other Positions All right, so there is the explanation right there and now let's talk about uh, an example right so that same example that I said, let's say you had 10 tables, it's kind of an imaginary thing, but let's say you had 10 tables, all got $100 worth of food, so your total revenue is 1000 that you made for the restaurant, right? Now, typically, tip outs um, at most places is about 5% on average. Sometimes it's less, depending on how staffed you are, sometimes it's a little bit more, depending on how, uh, you know, more, uh, more likely than not, places where you earn more, the tip out is higher, which, you know, pretty much is a way to just say, if you earn more, you have to give back more. But uh, let's say you made a thousand in total revenue for the restaurant. I don't know if you guys can see or should I go this way? But uh, let's say you made total revenue of a thousand, right? Now let's say the tip out is 5%. So you have to give, um, okay, and out of this total revenue, let's say you made 15% in tips, right? So out of a thousand, um, Let's say you made 150 in tips. So let's put the tips right here. We got tips. So you start off at 150, right? Now, um, most places that I go to, um, each single position that you have to pay out and tip out is a different amount. So for example, the bus boy usually takes about uh, 2% of, of the total revenue that you have to take out your tips. Now, uh, what's it called? The food runner is another 2%. 2%. And the bartender is usually 1% because they also earn tips. But the reason you are paying them out is because they're making your drinks. So you have the bartender, we just put the bar at a 1%. Now, a lot of places I worked at, for some reason, they do not tip out the hostesses, um, you know, the people who bring um, the people to your table, right? But if your restaurant does do it, you might go into the sixth range. But let's just keep it at this. Let's, let's keep it at this because most of the time hosts aren't counted. So this is 5%. Now, what is 5% of a uh, 1,000? 5% of a 1,000 is $50. So um, out of this, 5% equals $50. So now out of the 150 that you made, you have to give back $50. So all of a sudden, you went from 150 to $100. You might still say that's very good. It is, but at the same time, now that you know what a tip out is, you know, the total revenue, you have to give back to everybody else who worked there, and um, it has to come out of your tips. Now, another thing that's crazy is, you still have to declare this amount on your taxes, 
Even though you paid, you still have to declare this amount. Just remember that. This is one of the reasons why I don't like the system. You still have to pay this, even though this is what you technically brought home. Great system, right? But here's why I think this system is absolute trash. It is a system that is used so the employer or the company, the corporation doesn't uh, have to actually pay a decent wage to these positions because guess what? They put the uh, pretty much, they, how, how can I explain this? They put the responsibility on you to earn uh, everyone else extra income, right? So usually um, servers, they make good. Like, you know what I'm saying? You come home with a hundred or if you, if there was no tip out, you come with 150, which is pretty good. It usually to get a thousand, it's like a five, six hour shift in my opinion. Now, these uh, workers right over here, they usually do not get paid much. They usually get paid minimum wage or a little bit over minimum wage. And the incentive for people to get these jobs is, oh, well, we have a tip out system. So therefore, the servers will pay you at the end of every night, um, you know, a little extra plus whatever you earn. But what they don't tell you is it's not that much. It really is not that much because this 50 that you gave has to be broken down between all of this. And if you have a big restaurant, you might have two, three bus boys. You might have two, three food runners. You might have two bartenders. You know what I'm saying? If it's a very uh, restaurant that's going very by very quick. So these extra little, you know, dollars that these people get, it doesn't equal extra wage or extra income. You know what I mean? Like if you were to calculate into a dollar amount, I don't even think they're getting a full dollar per hour. You know what I mean? It's it's probably like 30, 40 cents per hour extra. It, what I'm trying to say is it should be removed and employers and corporations should have to actually pay people more. I know it's a crazy concept. I know it's a crazy thing in America right now where everyone's like, there's like a, a, a divide of where, you know, the workers obviously want to get paid more. The people who own the companies don't want to pay more, but Speaking from experience, um, I think it is terrible to have one of your workers pay your other workers because uh, you can't find the money even though you can. Because this revenue right here, let me tell you something. Most of the time, uh, it might be another video that I have to make, but a big chunk of this revenue is pure profits. The drinks, very cheap, very cheap to get drinks. The uh, desserts. Usually, uh, restaurants charge exuberant prices for desserts. For for example, um, at a place that I worked at, uh, what's it called? We would have a cheesecake, right? The cheesecake would be $5. You might say, oh, it says cheesecake, $5, it's not a bad thing. When I tell you we would buy our cheesecakes, because uh, we would buy them in bulk, we would buy them for about $10 to $15, depending on the season, depending on the company, whatever. $10 to $15 for a full cheesecake, and there would be 18 to 20 slices. You know what I mean? So you would buy this for uh, um, for about ten to fifteen dollars and sell it to close to a hundred. We would never sell full cheesecakes. We would only do it by slice. So when I tell you, like the only thing that really costs money um, for restaurants is like the main food that you cook, right? Like the main food. If it's if it's a seafood place, the crab, the this, the that. If it's a steak place, the steak and all that. But all that extra little stuff. I hope you know it is pure profit, so they can afford to pay, you know what I'm saying? What's it called? The, um, these workers, their fair share. But yeah, that pretty much does it. I can rant about this all day. Uh, probably went off topic. It is what it is. I want to make these videos more free form where I talk my mind, but at the same time, try to show you and try to actually give you kind of some insights. If you have any questions, if there's anything I missed, if there's any other questions that you might have based upon this, uh, let me know in the description. But yeah. Here is the terrible system of tip-outs. Have a great day.